the Court of Appeal has upheld the acquittal of 49-year-old Samira Muzaffar and two teenagers on a charge of murdering Cradle Fund CEO Nazrin Hassan six years ago. A three-member panel led by Justice Datuk Vazir Alam Midin Mira in a unanimous decision dismissed the prosecution's appeal to set aside a high court verdict in acquitting and discharging the three of them on the murder charge. On June 21, 2022, the Shah Alam High Court freed Samira, who is also Nazrin's widow, and the two teens now aged 18 and 21, after finding that the prosecution had failed to establish a prima facie case against the trio. The three and their Indonesian helper, Ika Wahyu Lestari, who supposedly at large had been accused of murdering Nazrin at his house in Mutiara Damansara between 11.30 p.m. on June 13, 2018 and 4 a.m. the following day. When reading out the decision, Justice Vazir Alam said the prosecution failed to prove the murder case as the evidence was circumstantial. The court also found there was no common intention between the three respondents, as well as their former maid to murder Nazrin. The judge noted that while the authorities claimed that Ika was at large, she was actually working in Kuching, but the police never attempted to arrest her. The panel also agreed that there was no sufficient evidence to prove the fire in the bedroom was caused deliberately. The judge said the testimony surrounding the petrol and the analysis were not using certified methods and the investigators had skipped crucial steps. Nazrin's older sister spoke to the press following the court's decision. Assalamualaikum semua. Uh, kami terima keputusan mahkamah. Semuanya ketentuan Allah dan kami redha. Kami bukan pun nak... Uh, nak Samirah dipenjarakan atau di atau di 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 ketali gantung kami keadaan dalam dalam keadaan sebesalah kami kami sedih adik kami mati tapi pada yang pada masa yang sama kami tak mahu Samirah di Samirah disabitkan jadi kami terimanya sebagai ketentuan Allah kami terima dengan redha Amin ya rabbal alamin. Doakan kami kuat dan um, sama ada pendakwa raya akan bawa ke ke federal court uh, kita tunggu keputusan uh, pendakwa raya. Terima Lawyer Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah represented Samira and the two teenagers. Hari ini beliau amat-amat gembira sebab bukan saja menang kes itu seperti di mahkamah tinggi tetapi apa yang beliau katakan ini adalah satu kemalangan. Kemalangan. Bukan satu ya, bukan satu kebakaran yang disengajakan dan bukanlah pembunuhan. Ah dan tidak ada petrol langsung. Okey. This is a case so important. Bukan saja untuk Samira, untuk kita semua. Kita akui bahawa uh, jabatan bomba ni amatlah mustahak. Ya, mereka uh, apa nama ni? Uh, they, they, they save life at the expense of their own life. But what we are saying here is, in terms of investigation, I think bila ada kematian, biarlah pihak seperti polis ambil daripada awal. Supaya so, there is no conflict of interest sebab Benda macam ini boleh berlaku. Sama ada disengajakan atau tidak disengajakan boleh berlaku.